Hi, and welcome back to the X-Files. A short X-Files, I have to say, because the player we're going to look at today is Ronnie Rosenthal. Ronnie Rosenthal was only with us for um, two seasons in all. Um, he joined at the start of Graham Taylor's second era when we were in the third tier and he dropped down. He was playing with Spurs at the time. Uh, he previously played with Liverpool where he won the league and he had a tremendous career, um, albeit that he was probably really well known for missing a particular goal uh, in front of the whole end from about six yards up at, up at Villa for, for Liverpool. But he was one of those players that when he dropped down to the third division, oh my Lord, what a player. He wasn't the most mobile um, by that particular point in terms of he would choose when he would go. He would choose when he would run. He would choose the times when he would uh, he would really kind of use his energy. But when he did, oh my Lord, his nickname previously had been Rocket Ronnie. In the third division, he chose when he was going to go. But when he went, bang, did he go? And was he creative? He had a couple of things that were really quite exceptional. Um, one was his turn of pace when he went to go. But the other thing was his eye for his teammates. Bear in mind, he had dropped down from the, th you know, from the top flight to the third division, principally for Graham Taylor, because he'd met him and he was so impressed with Graham that he chose to join the club rather than try and eke it out in the top flight. But he also had an appreciation of the players around him. Um, on the X-Files that we did for Richard Johnson, we called this out, but we'll call it out again here because you'll see them. So many of Jono's goals in that year were set up by Ronnie because if you were a, a, a defender and you got Ronnie with his back to goal, you knew he could turn you if he wanted to. But Ronnie knew that Richard Johnson could hammer it in from 25 yards if needs be. So he'd sink into, uh, in, into the defence, get them coming around him, and then he'd release the ball for Jono to strike it. Other times he'd get the ball and he'd be facing the defence and he'd be running at them and he would run them and he could run them ragged.
second season, we didn't really get to see the best of him because of injury. And he hardly made an appearance in the second tier once we got that first promotion. But he was always a force around the dressing room and he was present uh, quite rightly at the day um, in 99 when we were all at Wembley um, commemorating that, that wonderful display against Bolton where we won 2-0 with two goals from Nick Wright and from Alan Smart. And you can imagine that Nick Wright and Alan Smart coming to a club at that particular time, even though Ronnie Rosenthal wasn't playing, how much they must have been able to learn from that, uh, from his history and his ability to play. So that was Ronnie Rosenthal. He retired shortly after and is now a, a, a football consultant, but he made a massive contribution. And Graham Taylor remarked that after he played and he'd retired, he was the first player and the only player, to my knowledge, to actually write to Graham Taylor to say thank you for everything that he'd done for him in his time at Watford. And that really made a mark with GT. And that should make a mark with us as well, I think, therefore. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed the video. And if you have, please like, please subscribe. And uh, look forward to seeing you again on another X-Files. Cheers.